My name is G.R. Zellner, Gerald, and I was born in Catoosa, Oklahoma, uh, about a mile east of where the Cherokee Casino is right now. My parents are Frank Zellner and Hazel Holly Zellner. My mother received an allotment uh, outside of of uh, Collinsville. I had uh, two brothers and a sister. Wound up about a mile and a half east of Catoosa and grew up on a, a farm, or started my growth on a farm there. Uh, I, we moved into the town of Catoosa and, and I was, I played, basketball. And I caddied at the golf course, which is now the Cherokee golf course there. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was Indian Hills golf course there, and that was the only thing in that area. And, and there was a small cafe across the road from it, but that was the only thing that was in that, that area there. Me and my older brother caddied at the golf course, and we, if we made 50 cents a day, why well, generally we would, took it home, and I didn't go very fast, but uh, I, I would say probably maybe 10 or 11 years old whenever I started caddying. And B-class wages was 50 cents. Sometimes you got a dime tip, and uh, sometimes you didn't, do it. And, and then whenever you made what they called A class, why well, you got 75 cents, and sometimes you made a dollar. We played keeps, marbles, <laughs> you know, what, however many you got out of the circle, why well, that's what you had to start with <laughs> in the next game. Ever, ever young boy had a bean shooter that we shot wash nests out of the trees and contrary to everybody's opinion wasps can tell exactly where them rocks come from <laughs> we did get stung occasionally but uh, if somebody had a little little dab of, of tobacco Chewed it up and put it on there. There was no school lunches. You carried a, a sack or a, generally it was a little tin bucket that, it, that you carried with a biscuit and, and sausage in to school. <laughs> Most of the time we walked. My father got, we walked to school for a year or so and my father got the school bus driving job, but <laughs> he went clear out into the area, and by the time he got back to us, it wasn't even standing room, and we walked it a lot of the time <laughs> then. Bumble peg was, uh, somebody had to have a, a knife, and he opened up a knife like this, and flipped it, and however, if you, if you didn't get it sticking, why well, you had to root the peg. The other guy got to drive the peg in the ground with the back of his knife, and got three licks at it to drive the peg in the ground. My first teacher was um, one year, and she played mumble peg with us. She just joined us in all everything. Uh, one of the games that they played, we, we played was Red Rover. My brother and I saw a place where an animal went back in the coal dump, and we set our trap there and made it where it got in. On the way to school, we checked it out. A, a skunk had, had went in there, but we got it out and went on to school and was sent home. <laughs> My brother and I, and we were probably four and five, or five and six, 
we trapped rabbits. It was nice whenever we caught a rabbit and had uh, a good meal. <laughs> we raised most of our food. My mother dried and canned everything. We picked blackberries and my mother canned blackberries and was a kittle. I, uh, uh, anyhow, she canned blackberries in that, uh, put them in jars and put them in that thing, built a fire around it. <laughs> My grandmother was, a, I think, a beautiful Indian woman, and uh, she grew up in the area, the Rascal Flat area north of Catoosa there. My grandfather used to tell me about when he went to court her why he knew where to cross the Bird Creek and uh, there, rode a, a horse and taking it over for uh, Dora to ride and they went horseback riding and when he went home and he, they had one of them high water raises across the river but he pulled all of his Sunday go to meet and clothes off and tied them on one horse and uh, him and the other ho horse swam across afterwards. But old friend headed for home <laughs> in Catoosa. <in> <laughs> and, and he didn't, never did catch him. My brother and I went in and jumped cattle off of a ridge that they would get on, <clears throat> be surrounded by water. And we swam in and jumped them off of the ridge in the direction that they had to go to get get out and and kept them from being north down the river. We didn't buy candy. That was a luxury that was a little out of our expense range. <laughs> I can remember taking corn to the corn mill, uh, to the grind mill, and, and getting corn meal ground, and you gave them so much of it back and for payment of grinding it. And I absolutely learned to work and help with the, even making a little dab of money that didn't any of us make, but we, we considered uh, that part of the family, everybody was, was interested in it. <laughs>